Hey, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope your trading setups that you've tested, and if you're not trading, I hope that you're studying somehow or another, studying price action, videos, books, whatever, whatever uh, helps you the most. So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go over how I set up my stocks to trade because I got this question from a few people and you know how I use it what features I like stuff like that so first thing I'm gonna go over is <clears throat> the charts first how did I get them to this like there's two charts here right that's not how it is in the regular way so what you do is you go to chart um, default chart display you put um, compact multi charts that's one way of doing it or you right click here and so this is this is going to be the default this is the extended chart this is how it comes up regularly then you go to compact multi charts you right click on charting here and that's what gets you that menu that you click compact multi charts so <clears throat> how did I change the color of my charts you see the background is black <clears throat> What you do is you go here to chart, background, color top, color bottom. You could pick um, what color you like. So I'll put gray on the bottom. Yeah, it's it's a little ugly, but you know this is just an example. <laughs> but yeah, that's how you change the the charts, the colors. You can put it. Um, you can change the top. You can change the bottom. I'm just gonna put that back to black because it's easier. <clears throat> one more thing that I did I don't know if it was noticeable is you could see the candle wicks if you zoom in it's choppy here hold on <laughs> you see the candle wicks they have the the same color as the candle that they're corresponding to so like that's a red wick this is a green one and originally how they do it is candle wick color um, default color is white or grayish and the gray I don't really like the gray because see how um, it's it's a little a lighter shade than this these crosshairs here so it's harder for me to to see it kind of when I'm because I don't have that great eyesight when I'm zoomed out like this if I'm trying to see where did the candle bottom it's it's a little difficult so what I did is I go here to that settings gear at the top go to chart and <clears throat> candle wick color, candle color. So now it corresponds with it. And it's easier to see, like a neon green. What I like to do also is you could see that um, <clears throat> on the compact multi charts, I like to put the daily chart here. I'll remove these. I'll put the daily chart on the left side and then the intraday chart on the right side because the daily chart is more significant to me. and. Uh, one way to prevent making, you know, impulse decisions based on intraday action is once you open the chart, you got the daily chart here, you know exactly what to look for. Um, you don't enter impulsively just because it moved quickly intraday or something. <clears throat> for example, like this little spike is not going to make you short yet because you know that it has this much more room to run before you you should even think of it as a short <clears throat> when you zoom out of the chart on default it's gonna stop where the chart fills the window and I find it a little like constricted maybe a little annoying I like to zoom out like this sometimes where there's some space on each side and how you deal with that again you go to the settings gear I'm gonna go to chart and you're going to do limit zoom. It's usually checked off. I uncheck it because I want that freedom of zooming out quickly. <clears throat> and more than the window itself. Fixed candle width. I don't like that. Show empty candles. I always keep that checked off because I want the natural price action. I don't want to see uh, like candles missing just because they haven't traded in them. It will like change up the chart a little bit. Um, share drawings between intervals yeah I mean if you put a horizontal line on the daily chart and then you switch to a 15 15 day chart it's still gonna show up there 
Um, show left price scale, I keep that on because I like uh, this the price on the left side as well as the right side because, you know, whenever, like if there's a window on this side, you, you'll still be able to see the price. Um, yeah. Default chart display, I went over that. Preserve zoom, I don't know what that really does. I haven't seen any difference. <clears throat> and you can draw the candle borders where it's a white border around it but it looks a little cluttered and the chart uh, I don't like how the chart looks with that so I don't have that on these I'm gonna keep them on limit zoom that's what I told you about <clears throat> the default tool you can even have a zoom tool where you click on the chart and um, it zooms in like on your range that you selected grid line opacity I changed this because look it's not usually up here but the higher it is the more grids uh like show up i have that on zero because it looks cleaner on the chart extended hours opacity you can also change that where after hours looks uh less different than the uh intraday <clears throat> it just makes it look smoother sometimes <clears throat> and scaling labels minimum spacing um don't know what really this does so it, I just leave it default spacing I put that up because it's gonna like see how more lines show up I, I still like the clean clean look so I'm gonna put that all the way there minimum count this also does something similar so I'm gonna leave that on the minimum because I don't want it and you could change the close line thickness so the previous close the line for it the thickness changes here because you know, sometimes if you're far from your monitor, it's easy to see if you increase the thickness there. Level 2. Uh, what I did on the level 2, this is important kind of because um, you see this bar here. When trades are going off, red and green flashes here. I I see it as kind of, um, kind of annoying. So I'm going to check that and that disappears. I like this cumulative size that it has here because... Um, it just gives you a general sense of where the stock is going kind of but I don't make my trading decisions based on these I like to look at the how many actual buyers and sellers are at each level and that's how I base my trading decisions more so I'd say the cum cumulative size is more like using a 5 minute or 15 minute chart just to gauge the general sense of the stock and then like the actual level 2 is, is more of a precise sort of judgment so make your decisions on this it'll be um, much much easier and it just makes more sense to me <clears throat> one little thing I also like to do is you see these two uh, buttons here you have the X don't click that you have that and it'll f fill this window and wh what else you can do is you see this notch here that'll hide this side taskbar here and now you have that full big chart up and you can look at look at it more precisely and get a bigger idea of what's going on <clears throat> also I don't know if you noticed this notch here you can also click it and that bar goes away a little more so it gives you a more view kind of on the chart I like that feature so you can make it like basically all chart and when you put this taskbar away, you notice that top gainers disappeared. What you can do to prevent that is you just click this here. Yep, and it pops up. So now you can close this here and this. So you have the all charts. And you can move this top gainers screen to another monitor or something or over to the side. So I like that, that feature. It's nice. And you can also do that for watch lists. You can take them out from the side and put them on different monitors as well. Also, what I do on my other monitors is I have like mini, uh, mini total views up for each stock that I'm watching. Usually two or three, nothing more than that because, you know, it's not good to have your mind all over the place. The more you, fo <clears throat> the more you focus, the better odds of success you'll have. And here I have the S&P over on the side. And how I did this is, remember the compact multi-charts? 
you can actually have one window with compact charts and one window with extended charts and I like that a lot so it's a new new added feature that they have and you can click this total view to get this whole window populated with all the you know the, get it full screen in there we'll give that a second I have too many things open <laughs> so yeah that's basically how you do it you you just double click you click once let it disappear and then click it again and it'll fill this to the fullest extent so yeah that's all i had to review t t for today so if you enjoyed uh thank you for watching and those who liked my previous video thank you as well thank you for watching and hopefully it helped you guys those who disliked my previous video, next time I'd appreciate if you just put it in the comments what you disliked so I could fix it for the next video. Um, thank you guys, and as always, trade safe, study hard, and thank you.